we are so happy to welcome you to the Congregation of the Mother of Carmel. Our congregation is the first indigenous religious congregation for women in India and was founded on February 13, 1866 by St. Chavra, our founder, and Father Leopold, our co-founder. Prophet Elijah and our Blessed Mother are inspirational figures and sources of spiritual insight for all Carmelites. The promise of our Carmelite scapular is that Our Lady gave the scapular to St. Simon Stock, a Carmelite priest, and she promised grace at death for those who wear it. Today, we wear the scapular in honor of our Blessed Mother. Our congregation began with just four members, and now we have more than 6,200 members rendering selfless service in four continents. Asia, Africa, America, and Europe. The mission for the CMC Sisters in the USA began on April 3, 1975. Our charism is the personal sanctity and redemptive uplift of the people of God, especially women and children, through the right blending of contemplation and action. In short, our mission is to be holy and lead others to holiness. Our founder, St. Chavra, and one of our members, St. Euphrasia, were canonized as saints on November 23, 2014, and our first Superior General, Mother Mary Celine, is in the process of canonization. Our sisters are participating in apostolic activities here in the U.S and in many parts around the world, providing grace and help to all of those in need. Our ministries include Christian formation, education, catechesis, parish apostolate, family apostolate, healing ministry, and care of the destitute. We carry on the charism of our revolutionary founder in many different ways, serving the needs of women children, and families around the world, embracing the gospel call of Christ to go into the entire world and proclaim the good news to the whole of creation. In particular, we have dedicated ourselves to serving those people who are suffering in these times from the COVID-19 pandemic around the world. The members of our congregation spend ourselves generously in the service of God and humankind, constantly striving to grow in holiness and to lead the entire world closer to Christ.